I have a kind of a, an objection to the word aging. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think of it as growing, not aging. Thanks. Um, I grew up in a, a country where aging was actually valued. And so I think it's given me an attitude towards um, growing older that has stood me in good stead up until now. But <laughs> <laughs> what stands now? <laughs> <laughs> Not much. <laughs> I love to dance and I work out three times a week and I do aerobics and weight training and uh, I now I'm at a point in my life where I can actually volunteer and that has been very joyful. Yes, actually, you're, you're involved in quite a few organizations. Yes. Um, I loved recording for the blind and dyslexic. Unfortunately, um, like a lot of things, uh, funding has dried up. And so they've had to close eight studios, and one of them was the one that I worked out of in New Haven. But um, that was a challenge. It was a learning experience, and it brought me in contact with some of the most amazing people, uh, both the people that used the books and also the people that recorded them and administrated the uh, recorded studio. Mm -hmm. studio. Mm -hmm. So it was really a great experience, and I learned so much because I read textbooks. And oh, interesting. Yes, yes. Quite frequently, they were out of my um, uh, experience, right. and they were not something I was comfortable with. So, you read cold. Yes, yes. And uh, some of the words <laughs> were a little confusing also. <laughs> but I also um, uh, am now sitting on the board of directors of the aging, a Agency on Aging for South Central Connecticut, and that's another challenge. So, uh, what do they do? Well, it's an agency that's uh, committed to um, promoting aging as a, a resource and not a detriment for a start, but it also um, uh, has some really wonderful programs. Uh, we have a volunteer program where we bring uh, people into the schools. We started with a few schools in Hamden and ended up with the whole of the uh, Hamden uh, Middle School District. So it's really expanding in a lot of areas. We. Um, have a program called Choices, which uh, helps people who are not only um, uh, aged, but also who are uh, mentally or physically challenged, stay in their own homes uh, instead of being institutionalized. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a great many things that we do. and. Uh, it's very, very rewarding. It's it's a lot of fun and challenging. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's nice that you've been able to find volunteer work that feels like fun to you. Well, I think any time you're giving back to a community, uh, you're running into people who are, have different ideas mm -hmm. uh, from you. You're dealing with people who are passionate about what they're doing, which is always an excitement and that's yes. great. Yes. You know, to see that passion and that dedication, uh, it brings you alive. You know. And also it's fun because you're you're doing things that perhaps you should you have never done in your life. Right. You know, so it's a learning process again, you know. So I see I see um, Aging is growing rather than uh, aging. 